Hi everyone, my name's Annette and today I'm going to show you uh, how to do one of the mortaling layers on reborn babies. Um, I'm going to use the baby I'm making at the moment, which is the Jenny kit by Alicia Toner. So, so far I've done, uh, this will be my fifth layer on, on her. Um, I've done like um, some flesh tones and she's had her veins done, which you may have seen in another video I've done. And yeah, today I'm going to do my one of my first mottling tones. Uh, now what I use for that is the ultramarine blue and the I use red O2. <clears throat> so basically uh, you've got your odorless thinners. So use about half a tablespoon of odorless thinners and then one brush of red which is just a typical flat brush like that and one brush classes as a wipe on each side and then mix that in with your odorless thinners and then with the ultramarine blue it's just a quarter so that's just basically your brush just a quarter of the way up on one side and when you mix it through you'll get a color like this I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you I'll have to pick up the unit for that. So if you can see that, it's like a dark, a dark blood red. Not a bright red, but a dark blood red. And with the modelling tone, you'll just get your usual cosmetic wedge. I don't know if I've got a full one here, but I'm sure you all know. Yep. So usual cosmetic wedge. And just with uh, tweezers, just pull little pieces out so you get a look like this I've pulled a little bit too much out on the side there but but that that's still okay that that will still get that mottling effect that I want now this is just one of the mottling effects or layers I use I also that's a little bit more in there. I also um, do a layer of like a purple purplish kind of mottling so anyway, I'll just show you with this one to start off with. So just get your sponge, dip your paintbrush in the solution and mix it around. It always should be mixed around. And then just basically wipe it over the top. And it's as simple as just pouncing onto your kit. So just a pounce. You can see that it's going to be very light. That's how we want it to be. It's just going to be effect under an effect underneath. So you just pounce lightly. Keep filling up your sponge. And if you get some spots where um, you've put a little bit too much paint, you can either pounce that out with your sponge again or sometimes it'll come out looking like a little bit of um, like a rash tone or something. So that's how we're looking so far. So I'll do the whole head. With this particular layer, I do this completely over the entire kit. Other people might just do it in areas of the kit and that's okay. When it comes to reborning, everyone has their own techniques. This is just a technique you might like to use. See, it's quite a good look. Gives that look underneath, like uh, blood running through, and nice pink tone. So I'll let you know what I've already done on this baby. Um, the first layer I did was a complete layer of a mix of eyelid purple and ultramarine. And that was just, uh, I did that with a sea sponge and I covered the complete entire kit with that colour. 
The next one I did is uh, a mix of Flesh 08 and some yellow. And that was just with the typical sponge with the top ripped off. So that gives it that sort of yellowy look underneath. The next one I did was the Flesh 08 again with um, some red. And once again, I went over the entire kit. And then I did the veins. And now I'm up to this one. So generally, a reborn baby. Sorry about the sound in the background. That's my kitten running around crazy. So... Generally, a reborn baby will have anywhere between probably 10 to 20 layers of paint. Sometimes the more the better, sometimes the less. It really depends on the artist. Sometimes you'll have an artist that does very few layers, but their technique in those few layers is quite amazing. The main thing you want to see is that there is paint on the kit that you can see detail and that is the main thing with the ears I just pounce on the ears and I also get the brush and just splash it on behind so we don't lose that colouring that we're trying to get all the way around so I've done Jenny all over you can see that mottled look there she's cute hey so now I'm just going to let her dry I'll do the rest of her limbs and then I will bake her for eight to ten minutes I do personally about eight minutes and um, in the portable oven and then I'll start with the next uh, layer and I'll show you that as well in this video so stay tuned Okay, so the first layer has been put into the oven and is all dry and ready to add my next layer. So I'll just show you that. All your looks should be very fine and subtle. In some places you might see um, more, more of a mottling look, um, but that's how it is on, on a baby. So you can see she's starting to get some colour there. So I thought I would just start um, with showing you how I mix, mix that particular paint. So the next layer, like I said, is the purple sort of toning. So with this one, I've got my um, odorless thinners. I'm going to use a tablespoon because I'm actually working on two babies at the moment. But you can use half a tablespoon if you are just working on one baby. So then I've got the eyelid purple and I'm just going to do a brush. So just dip your paintbrush into the thinners. Let's see if I can get that down closer to the thinners. Okay. So and then one brush is a brush on either side. So you can see there's paint on that and there's not really on that. So then I just mix it in. You'll see lightly there that that is changing colour. And because I have done a double, double odorless thinner, I'll need to do double the paint as well. So another, another brush. So with one tablespoon of odorless thinners, I'll use two brushes of eyelid purple. You may be able to see that it's getting darker there. I'll lift it up to show. So there you go, it's dark purple. So I thought I'd also show you uh, how I tweezer out the cosmetic wedge. My last one that I was doing with the red tone is really dead 
starting to actually fall apart in spaces. So I reuse them quite a few times. Um, but once they start to fall apart and don't give that really nice mottled tone, that's when it's time to throw it out. So I've just got your typical tweezers. Nothing special there. So I just pop out random, random pieces. Just pinch it and pop it out. That wasn't a good one. Pinch and pop. So you can see that's only a tiny one. Pinch. Pop. So you just do that all the way around. I normally make sure I get the corners because you don't want the corners to be involved. And they can be all different sizes. You can try to spread it out to get bigger ones and you can little ones in between they can join there's no right or wrong way it's just you, you don't want too many to be um, joined otherwise it won't get that spotty mottly effect So that's fine. Each layer is going to be different, so we want we want that to be that way. So I'll just show you the start. This layer, I, after I do this layer and let it dry, I then add some purple 06, which is this one here, to my mix. That um, I'll let you see how much I normally use a brush. So add a brush, add a little bit more thinners and a brush of purple 06. That will make it sort of more than a lavender lilac sort of colour. And then you do it over again, another layer, and then you bake it. So you've got two layers on there before you bake it for this particular one. You can see how we're looking there. So just brush it over the entire sponge. And then just like we did before, just pounce on. As you can see, there are any thin layers. Uh, once they dry, they don't look as dark, but the effect is there. And it's definitely bringing out that three dimensional effect on the baby's skin. So there you can see how that's going. So I'll just do this whole head and then I'll come back and show you how I add the 06 uh, purple and, and then I'll show you the next effect adding the 06 purple. Okay, so the second stage of that purple mottling, we'll just get our colour. There's still some purple left in there. So to that, I'll just add another half a tablespoon of the odorless thinners. So that will make it back up to about one tablespoon for me. Um, then I've got the purple 06. So I want, for you, it would be one brush of the 06. But I'm going to use two because I am making a larger quantity. So like I said before, the last layer of purple mottling didn't need any baking. Uh, you'll do this mottling layer and then you'll bake the entire kit. So I'll just show you before I start that layer. So she hasn't had her second bake, her bake yet for that. So as you can see, the little spots mottling sort of look there. Now some might think uh, that's too much. As you can see on the face, it's it's really barely there. But once um, I start 
adding other tones over the top of that layer, some of your flesh tones. Um, it all just evens out. You can't see the if there's a dark spot or purple maybe there or something, say that was on the face, you won't really be able to see that. It'll look like just an underlying um, capillary vein or something like that. That's that's the beauty of, you know, your layers. So back to the sponge I just used before for the eyelid purple mix. So now we're using the two-tone purple mix. So once again, exactly how we did before. This will give it another dimension of purple. A lot of babies have that mottling look underneath their skin. So you can see that all there. It's one of the first layers I did, which was the mix of the 08 flesh and the yellow has given it a light yellow undertoning. It's really hard to see in the picture, but in the mottling, it really comes out underneath it. I think you'd be hard to see it, but I can see like there's a, a yellow undertone coming out in between those little spots and it looks really, really nice. So that's it for the mottling. Um, I'll show you some of the advances later, but this is basically just a video to give people an idea of how to model. I'm not trying to show you how to paint this entire kit. Just want to show you the modeling because everyone does things differently. And this is just something you might be looking at adding to your painting process. So if you have any questions about the modeling effect or any other effects, um, just you know, send me a shout out in my messages below.